All right, it has come to my attention that I forgot about Boltus and Neutron Stars in my mecha tier list, best mecha. So I did record them. I just forgot about them. Come on, mention that, and I'm so sorry that I meant I forgot about it. So uh, here they are. Back in my days when Neutron Star is released, I love to use him, but not anymore. So let's talk about his primary attack. His primary attack is basically just like uh, just like what that Firefox, but except um, Neutron Star move around fast. You can, as you can see that but a very low ammo. And why I don't like his prime attack, Neutron Star is not a pilot killer. You can try, but it's gonna be difficult. And I'm gonna have to explain why. Uh, for tech build wise, I want you to re uh, increase his accuracy. You see, you can see the scatter on his bullet. It's so bad that it couldn't hit pilot, but it, it can hit mag very well. So that's one thing about it. And then um, his secondary attack is the Bionet. You can see he has blade. So what, uh, what you do is that you dash in and then you, you go like this. And then you dash in. It's actually target lock on. So sometimes people try to fight away. Neutral Star will auto lock onto them and keep slashing. Oh my god, keep slashing them. Uh, one way to uh, he one way to play him is that uh, his dash when you do it normally is just like that. It then and that's it, it consumes a lot of fuel. But what you want to do is you want to do like this, like this, and then you go down like this, like this, and then you go down like this, like this. Okay, that's the fastest way. You can do three times because he has some sort of a. His bayonet when triggered, it's just like Arthur. You gotta use this bayonet until it's finished. You can see on the left, it has time limit. Once that's down, you can no longer do uh, melee damage anymore. So Neutron Star is not a pilot killer. He is very strong in TDM as well. He's very strong in BR, but um, usually go in when people have 50, uh, more than, less than 50 HP left. So you're like an assassin. Okay, we're gonna go out, all right. All right. Boltus, the king of TDM, I would say. If you, uh, Boltus, let's talk about the primary attack first. So, when Boltus hit enemy, you see that counter is actually blocking, but if you see that counter, if you hit, hit people five times, you can deal that extra damage. Okay, you can see actually see the counter. One more time. You see that counter right there? There's actually five thunder marks. If five thunder marks hit, you get extra damage. Now, uh, so what you're, uh, all, um, the reason why I say he is strong in TDM is because if you have two bolters, then those thunderbolt will be able to change a lot, a chain a lot faster. And his secondary attack is uh, some sort of a Iron Man. I I can't remember the name. Uh, charge and uh, depending on what core you choose. Let's say if I choose core one, okay. If I choose core one, you see it's gonna even if I miss, it's gonna hit the mecha. So it, you only gain one one chain. But if I ch use core two, I have to be accurate. But I get two chain. I get two mark. Is it two mark or three mark? Uh, you get two mark. And his dash is able to help you go omni direction, just like a uh, Ventorus. But if you pass through your mark, you'll be able to deal one chain as well. So let's say, oh man, I'm low on ammo, and I can dash through people to deal damage. And you can also like use this thing to omni direction and get away. His jump is very low, which I don't recommend. His jump is not that high, so it's very bad. His mo his speed is very slow too. But overall, in TDM, he's amazing. In BR, you need some team synchronization to, to be able to pull his potential. So the reason why he's strong in TDM is because of his super chaining with another teammate. Uh, some people said that uh, couples tends to use bolters a lot. So moving on to the next man. So now I can find... <laughs> Now I can finally say that I covered all mecha. So, um, um, hey, it's just a gaming channel. 